Admiral Thad Allen, who served as 23rd Commandant of the United States Coast Guard, has been elected to receive the Dixie Lee Ray Award for a lifetime of high impact and distinguished accomplishments in environmental protection. His work includes his outstanding performance as National Incident Commander of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, one of the worst environmental disasters in U.S. history. He is also widely recognized for his strong leadership in the aftermath of Hurricanes Katrina and Rita in the Gulf Coast region. He is currently a senior fellow at the Rand Corporation. First of all, I'm very honored um, that I'm getting an award for mechanical engineers, and one would wonder, why is a person that doesn't have a mechanical engineering degree getting an award? Uh, I will tell you this, in my uh, 39 years in the Coast Guard, I found out that even though I didn't have an engineering degree, uh, I could not do my job, uh, testify before Congress on acquisitions, or deal with a wide range of crises if I wasn't able to absorb uh, technical information quickly. Admiral Thad William Allen was inspired to join the Coast Guard as a young man in the 1960s by his father, who was in the Coast Guard for over 20 years. I went to the Coast Guard Academy in 1967. Basically, everybody takes engineering the first two years and then you do something else. I did management. I had basic mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and those types of things, and some advanced math before I went off into the management field. Admiral Allen has been credited with leading one of the most dramatic restructurings of the U.S. Coast Guard since World War II and has laid the framework for a more responsive and effective operation from the bottom up. Uh, the hurricane response, the oil spill response, and some other things I've done have gotten a lot of notoriety, but I made a commitment uh, coming in 2006 to change the entire business enterprise of the Coast Guard. People have asked me what they thought my legacy was going to be, and, uh, and frankly, and all the engineers out there will appreciate this, uh, I would like to believe that the uh, structural changes I made to the maintenance logistics system in the Coast Guard were the most fundamental things I did as Commandant. When the United States was hit with two of our greatest disasters in recent history, Hurricane Katrina and the BP Gulf oil well explosion and spill, Admiral Allen was heralded for his leadership role in the response to these events. For the two events I was involved in, from a crisis standpoint, I focused on one thing and one thing only, and that was creating unity of effort. And one of the things I have always believed, uh, that great leaders are great learners. When you're involved in a leadership position with one of these large, complex events, and you have to process a lot of information and make decisions quickly under conditions of uncertainty with incomplete information, you kind of have to have a framework by which you do that. There needs to be a single point of accountability for the operation. There needs to be a federal face of the response that can speak to the concerns of the American public. And there has to be a uh, sense of accountability that somebody is responsible to carry out the actions. And the uh, incidents that I've been assigned to and been put in charge of, I've tried to create trust with the American public that I was the person that was in charge, I was accountable. If you start out and you don't do that, then you have a loss of credibility. It takes an awful long time to recover. 